In linguistics, logic, philosophy, and other fields, an intention is any property or quality connoted by a word, phrase, or another symbol. In the case of a word, the word's definition often implies an intention. For instance, the intentions of the word plant include properties including being composed of cellulose, alive, and organism, among others. A comprehension is the collection of all such intentions. The meaning of a word can be thought of as the bond between the idea the word means and the physical form of the word. Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure (1857–1913) contrasts three concepts: the signifier, the sound image, or the string of letters on a page that one recognizes as the form of a sign; the signified, the meaning, the concept or idea that a sign expresses or evokes; the referent, the actual thing or set of things a sign refers to. See dyadic signs and reference semantics. Without intention of some sort, a word has no meaning. For instance, the terms rantans or brillig have no intention and hence no meaning. Such terms may be suggestive, but a term can be suggestive without being meaningful. For instance, rantan is an archaic onomatopoeia for chaotic noise or din and may suggest to English speakers a din or meaningless noise, and brillig though made up by Lewis Carroll may be suggestive of brilliant or frigid. Such terms, it may be argued, are always intentional since they connote the property meaningless term, but this is only an apparent paradox and does not constitute a counterexample to the claim that without intention a word has no meaning. Part of its intention is that it has no extension. Intention is analogous to the signified in the Saussurian system, extension to the referent. In philosophical arguments about dualism versus monism, it is noted that thoughts have intentionality and physical objects do not s. E. Palmer, 1999, but rather have extension in space and time. Topic: <inaudible> Statement forms. A statement form is simply a form obtained by putting blanks into a sentence where one or more expressions with extensions occur. For instance, the quick brown underscore 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 jumped over the lazy underscore 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 s back. An instance of the form is a statement obtained by filling the blanks in. Topic: <inaudible> Intentional statement form. An intentional statement form is a statement form with at least one instance, such that substituting co-extensive expressions into it does not always preserve logical value. An intentional statement is a statement that is an instance of an intentional statement form. Here co-extensive expressions are expressions with the same extension. That is, a statement form is intentional if it has, as one of its instances, a statement for which there are two co-extensive expressions in the relevant language such that one of them occurs in the statement, and if the other one is put in its place uniformly, so that it replaces the former expression wherever it occurs in the statement, the result is a different statement with a different logical value. An intentional statement, then, is an instance of such a form, it has the same form as a statement in which substitution of coextensive terms fails to preserve logical value. Examples Everyone who has read Huckleberry Finn knows that Mark Twain wrote it. It is possible that Aristotle did not tutor Alexander the Great. Aristotle was pleased that he had a sister, to see that these are intentional, make the following substitutions, 1. Mark Twain. The author of Corn Pone Opinions. 2. Aristotle. The tutor of Alexander the Great. 3. Can be seen to be intentional given. Had a sister. Had a female sibling. It will be noted that the intentional statements above feature expressions like, knows, possible, and pleased. Such expressions always, or nearly always, produce intentional statements when added in some intelligible manner to an extensional statement, and thus they or more complex expressions like, it is possible that, are sometimes called intentional operators. A large class of intentional statements, but by no means all, can be spotted from the fact that they contain intentional operators. Topic. Extensional statement form An extensional statement is a non-intentional statement. Substitution of coextensive expressions into it always preserves logical value. A language is intentional if it contains intentional statements, and extensional otherwise. All natural languages are intentional. 
The only extensional languages are artificially constructed languages used in mathematical logic or for other special purposes and small fragments of natural languages. Examples Mark Twain wrote Huckleberry Finn. Aristotle had a sister. Note that if Samuel Clemens is put into one in place of Mark Twain, the result is as true as the original statement. It should be clear that no matter what is put for Mark Twain, so long as it is a singular term picking out the same man, the statement remains true. Likewise, we can put in place of the predicate any other predicate belonging to Mark Twain and only to Mark Twain, without changing the logical value. For two, likewise, consider the following substitutions: Aristotle, the tutor of Alexander the Great, Aristotle, the author of the Prior Analytics, had a sister, had a sibling with two X chromosomes, had a sister, had a parent who had a non-male child. Topic: Significance. Intentional languages cannot be given an adequate semantics in terms of the extensions of expressions in them, since the extensions themselves do not suffice to determine a logical value. If they did, then one could not change the logical value by substituting co extensive expressions. On the other hand, for the first half of the 20th century, the only known systems of formal semantics worked by assigning extensions to expressions and used a Tarski style truth definition of statements constructed from the primitive expressions of the language under analysis. Hence, these semantical methods were pathetically inadequate for understanding the semantics of any but a few small artificial languages or mutilated fragments of natural languages. This situation changed in the 1960s with the invention of possible world or «intentional» semantics, the main form of which is due to Saul Kripke. Though this has enabled improvements in the semantic modeling of natural languages, much work remains to be done. See also Description logic Extension predicate logic Extensionality Intentional definition Intentional logic Set builder notation Notes References Ferdinand de Saussure, Course in General Linguistics. Open Court Classics, July 1986. ISBN 0-8126-9023-0 S. E. Palmer, Vision Science, From Photons to Phenomenology, 1999. MIT Press, ISBN 0-2621-6183-4 External links Chalmers, David. On Sense and Intention. Rappaport, William J. Intentionality v. Intentionality.